I don't disagree with anything you're saying. It's, and that probably was 100% his intent. But what I don't like is the disregard for what the man needs, right? Mm-hmm. So when he said, like, the woman gets 85, 85 and the man gets to 15, I don't want to give my husband 15. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, I, I think that's the narrative of a happy wife, happy life. Mm-hmm. When I personally believe happy spouse, happy house. Because if I'm, if I'm only giving my husband 15, he's not going to feel fulfilled. Like, I may be on that's this... What- when you said when I heard that, I was thinking that's why men cheat. Like if you feel like to me, if it, it's, it's getting good, it, y'all. it reads like a, <laughs> I got to do all this stuff for her, so I'm gonna get my portion wherever I got to get my yeah, my, my yeah. other piece that I'm not getting from my yeah, household. But she, I'm gonna she get elsewhere. Supposed to give it to me. Like no, no. I and and I so I agree with you as well. Like it should just be more balanced in the sense of give what you give learn the strengths in your relationship and give that your all Mm -hmm. um if you what's up y'all i'm leg and this is another episode of ode to black love podcast as you can see i do not have my better half next to me today but instead i have a girl episode um for us to talk about just different hot topics that have been going on um that's kind of what inspired this episode i saw some stuff on social media and i was like you know what i gotta sit down with some people to discuss these things but before we get into all of that Uh, Make sure you are liking, following, and subscribing to us on all social media platforms. So on Instagram and TikTok, that's Ode to Black Love. And then on Facebook and YouTube, that's Ode to Black Love Podcast. Also, we have merch available. Um, So head on over to OdeToBlackLove.com to get your merch today. Um, And if Jeremy was here, he would tell me what I'm missing, but he's not. So (laughs) if we're missing anything, just look in the, uh, the, the info box or whatever. Comments below. What is that thing called? Description. Description. I Thank you. you. <laughs> I need a man. No, I'm just saying. We're going to be good today, y'all. We're going to be good. Um, but yeah, like I said, this episode uh, was just inspired by a lot of stuff that I've seen on social media. So I reached out to my girls and asked them to just be a part of this conversation so we can just kind of talk these things out on air. Yes. Uh, so before we dive into the juicy part of the video, can y'all go ahead and introduce yourself? Give them your name, your age. Uh, your relationship status, as well as if you have any kids. We'll start with you, Cherie. Okay. Well, my name is Cherie Rice. I am 28. I have a son. I will recently, kind of recently, got engaged Woo-hoo! to my high school sweetheart. Yes. So, what else was I supposed to say? That's it. <laughs> oh, you said kids? Yeah. Yeah. So that's okay. it. Oh, do you want to plug any of your businesses? Or oh yes, I have an event styling company. It's called Brown Rice Event Styling. So I do like private dinners or baby showers, weddings, things like that. And I also have a, a venue. It's called the WOKC, and you can find us on Facebook and Instagram. We also have a website. Come on, the WOKC.com. Okay. Well, yeah, that's my girl Cherie, and then we have T. Oh, <laughs> tell them your name. <laughs> my name is Tian Barclay. Um, I am 29, and I have um, two kids. Well, yeah. three. I have a, a bonus son. Um, oh, girl, you scared me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got your two Okay, okay. Put all my business All that there. drinking you was doing last <laughs> night. No. <laughs> no, no, no. So, yeah, so I have uh, three kids. Um, I've been uh, married. Um, I say for 10 years. Um that's what it is. That's a huge accomplishment. That's yeah. a long. Well, no, it's not 10 yet. It'll be 10 in September. So let me Bet. Ex- extend that out there so we can sit up there and get ready for a big ass celebration. Congratulations. Yeah, Y'all doing a 10 year celebration? Yeah. I, 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 yeah. I know that's right. <laughs> and it's on the podcast, so it gotta happen. Right. It gotta happen. It gotta happen. Okay, so Tian, you mentioned that you're married. Cherie's engaged. I'm married. Um, as y'all know, what would y'all say the difference is between the stage that you were in before uh, you got into the stage you're in now? So, for example, me. Uh, before I got married, me and Jeremy were engaged and we actually moved in together. And um, it was an interesting space to be in. Like, we had been together, what, three, maybe three to four years before we had got married or before we got engaged. And um, once we finally moved in together, we went through a lot of growing pains. And mm-hmm. it was a, it was a good time. 
Like, we had a, a cute little apartment together. We had fun, but it was just a lot of learning and growing uh, that we did. And so then once we got married, I think the learning and growing looked a little bit different. We still did it, but it just, it was different. Mm -hmm. And so for me, like going from engaged to married was a big transition, but it was a lot of growth within that transition. Like we went through some ups and downs, especially I would say, um, maybe, yeah, that probably that first year, it was just like a lot of communication issues, a lot of, uh, just personality differences that we just could not understand between one another. Um, and then we finally went to therapy and like things have been uh, hey, on the up and up. Yeah, since. So things have been great. But I do know like us now married versus when we were engaged, it's a huge difference um, in a lot of ways. So like, what do y'all feel? Like what's, what's the difference between the stage you were in before versus the stage you're in now? Are you talking about me personally or the relationship? The relationship. Oh, well, and speak on you personally too. Uh, for me, the pre-stage, uh, just me before, um, I was out living my life. I was out just having fun and mm -hmm. going to parties and, um, it wasn't anything serious with anybody, you know, mm -hmm. um, until Chris. And when I got with Chris, things moved so quickly that mm -hmm. it was just kind of like, we, we, we've done all our growing and stuff. To, like together like it wasn't mm. like any pre-stage or anything it was just like we in this and this is what we're gonna do and this is what we've done and it's just been it's been a lot of fun and it's been a lot of work because like mm -hmm. we are very different people like right. i come from a background of six kids and um oh, he comes yeah. from being the only child so it's mm -hmm. been a it's, it's been some yeah. <laughs> hell yeah <laughs> to say the least but um and and I talked about this on episode two of the podcast. Yes, um, yes. But it's just been a lot of work. But it's definitely been fun. And um, we're still learning each other. We're still, like, we're still, I'm still trying to so balance him, thing. balance yeah. me. Like, it's been a lot of me trying to force him to be away instead of mm -hmm. accepting that that's who he is. Mm. It's also me trying to encourage him to grow. Mm. And then sometimes when he tries to encourage me, I shut down. Grow. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm great. <laughs> <laughs> I know you ain't talking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm the best one in the relationship. <laughs> <laughs> Just toxic. <laughs> I feel like that's women. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. So what about you, Cherie? Especially with you recently getting engaged. Like, do you feel a difference? So we were together since we were in high school. Mm -hmm. And I feel like that stage was a lot of not trying to understand each other. I feel like when you're younger, you just kind of want things your way. Yes. So I feel like it was a lot of, like, arguing and things like that. But we were young, so, mm -hmm. of course. And then when we, we broke up, I feel like we both needed that to kind of grow and find mm -hmm. our, I guess, find ourselves. Especially me. I need to find myself mm -hmm. and what I liked and what I was going to accept, what I wasn't going to accept. So after we broke up and we got back together, I would say our communication was a lot better. Mm. Like, we were actually able to have those conversations and listen to each other mm -hmm. and see, like, where I was wrong or where he was wrong and see how we can fix it. Mm -hmm. Or just him opening up that conversation to be like, okay, babe, what's wrong with you? You acting crazy. Yeah. Or, mm -hmm. <laughs> Something ain't right. Like, what's right. going on with you? And us able to sit down and talk. Mm -hmm. And I think, I think our growing pains happened maybe after we had our son. So we had oh, our son, yeah. and then we got engaged. And I feel like it's... Um, just we were both raised differently in mm -hmm. different households. Mm -hmm. So then, like, coming together and raising a, a little human, yes. I feel like that's a lot. That really it pushes comes. you to the limit. Like. Yes, because <laughs> he may have different ways on how he wants to raise him or right. how he wants to react to your son doing different things. Mm -hmm. And it's like, you know, especially Mama Bear, you like, no. Yeah, he's, <laughs> a lot, he's up. He's up. Yeah, yeah. So it's just like, I guess, learning each other in that aspect mm -hmm. and just and making sure we're able to talk and communicate. In the case, right. I feel like that's definitely became a lot better, and mm -hmm. especially since we've gotten our careers and things right. like that. So right. I feel like just trying to understand each other mm -hmm. and communication has definitely changed since we've gotten engaged. Right, right. So how do y'all feel? Because, Tian, you mentioned this word, work, like it's been work. And I love that word when it comes to relationships, not just as a couple, but just mm -hmm. in friendships. Mm -hmm. Life is just work. Mm -hmm. um, how do y'all feel about that? Because I know when people say, 
when people hear that, they get this negative connotation, and they're like, "Well, marriage is fun. Marriage is this. Like everybody's mm-hmm. saying, it's hard. It's work, but it's it's actually not. It's actually fun if you marry the right person." How do y'all feel about the the term or describing marriage as work? I feel like it's the best description you can like Absolutely. give it. It's it's everything is not easy. So it's not like and I. Based off of TV, based off of some people, and I won't say that they're in denial. Maybe they just mesh. Maybe they came into the relationship healed, you know. But when Mm -hmm. some people come into relationships, they're not healed. They have trauma from other circumstances Mm -hmm. and things of that nature. So living with a partner and they have their own trauma, you have your own, is going to cause conflict. That you have to work through. Right. Yeah. If you want to enjoy the person, you have to yes, work through it. Yes, yes, yeah. You know, so I think that it's very fitting. And I think that a lot of times we do a disservice to the younger people and other women. Um, I'm not by any means saying people shouldn't should be in relationships unhappy, but people should be realistic and know that everything's not going to be perfect. Right. So a lot of times people might leave someone that might be fitting for them but it's because maybe they held you accountable and you didn't like that. Or right. maybe, you know, That's you true. heard something, you know, they did something or, you know, they were different. And you and instead of trying to get to the root of it, now I'm not saying we got to be healers and fixers and fix all, all these men. men. <laughs> no, <laughs> that's not what therapy. I'm saying. But I'm saying yeah, that, but, you yeah. know, people progress at different rates. Yes, come on. And so since people yeah. progress at different rates, um, if somebody's showing you some a lot of good things and they haven't showed you those deal breakers red flags I say to to give them some time right. but you don't have to give them your whole life and then you know it's we also got to change the idea around dating like mm-hmm. yeah people are in the 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 thought that dating has to be monogamous and if you're not I think that people should be able to date multiple people at the same time mm. what I'm saying is it's not like just you're having sex with everybody. What I'm saying is, is like getting to know multiple people because a lot of times right. as women, we'll sit up there, give all of our, our all attention to one, one mm-hmm. and he, 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 he ain't even yeah. made you his girlfriend. He did nothing, yeah, and yeah, you just yeah. waiting on him to text you and all that stuff, and you wait so long. Oh, he got options. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I definitely think that we should get back to. I mean, people should get to, to dating and just figuring out what they like about a person, what they don't like, you know, and mm-hmm. that kind of will help you when you do. Like she said, you'll be able to set those boundaries. Right. You'll know what you like, what you will stand for, won't stand for. Mm-hmm. What's a deal breaker? So I mm-hmm. think. I definitely agree with that. And to piggyback off that, I will also say, I guess when you say the word, the phrase work. Right. It's kind of like a job. Like sometimes mm-hmm. you like your job, sometimes you don't like your job. <laughs> you know, and that is. A job has to benefit. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> right, 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 right. So you have to put in, put in that work. Yeah. And that, were you about to add something else, Sheree? Well, and also you have to just make sure your partner is willing to work on themselves. Exactly, I will that say part. that. Yeah, because if they aren't, then it's kind of, it's kind of like you're just pulling teeth. Like yeah. you're wasting your time because they're not ready to kind of go higher or I guess give you what you need yes. in that relationship. Yes. And that's that's kind of what makes a relationship work. Is I'm giving you what you need. You're giving me. What I need. Exactly. Exactly. Mutually but also, beneficial. I'm giving myself what, what I, I need. need. And that's, that's <laughs> it. That's yes. it right there. Yeah. Figuring out how to give yourself, you know, and a, a lot of times when you put the cart before the horse and you've already got kids and stuff, you don't know how to put yourself first, mm-hmm. you know? Mm-hmm. And so that's one of those things where if you are listening and you don't have kids, and even if you are in a relationship <laughs> or not, learn yeah. how to calm out that time for yourself. And even when the baby yes. comes... Still, Still trying to figure it. out a way to get, keep that time to yourself and your mm-hmm. self care and That's whatever important. that looks like to you, where you can just have a uh, you outside of being a mother, outside of being a wife mm-hmm. or a husband, also too, I guess. Yeah, absolutely. And so another thing um, that I've seen on social media that kind of aligns with this topic is mm-hmm. the idea that life is easier with a partner. Mm-hmm. Now I will say, y'all, when I read that, it just gave me like. Weird vibes um, because I'm like, life is, I don't, I don't know. Like, my first thought, and it just may have been my perception, but my first thought was like, you know, this is hard work. Like, having a partner is hard work. Uh, but I was talking to a friend about it, and she was like, but I still think it's easier. And she has a partner as well. 
And I was like, okay, like that's the key, the easier. Because it's not saying, I guess for me, that message at first was saying that it's easy. Mm -hmm. Uh, But Mm -hmm. when I went back and looked at it, I'm like, it's not saying that it's easy, but it is easier. And Mm -hmm. I, I agree with that. Like, I feel like my life, is easier because of Jeremy. Um, mm-hmm. Do we still have a whole bunch of work? Yes. Do we still have a lot? Like, it's two people, two... Yes, don't get me wrong. We still have those issues. But overall, he makes my life easier. Like, I do think if I was... If I did not have him, my life would be probably harder. So, what, But what do y'all think? I also think it's the right person. The right person. Come on. Easier. Yeah. So I think if you're in something toxic, then life can be a lot harder mm-hmm. or it can bring you down. It can change the way you're, maybe the way your life was supposed to go or you yes. thought your life was supposed to be. It can if you don't have the right person in your life. Mm-hmm. So I would say it could be easy, especially when you think about inflation and gas prices. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, well, do you feel like it's easier for you? I do think that is, um, I guess in my situation, I would say I think it's easier. Your life is easier with yeah, your partner. Yeah, but I, I don't think I could generalize that term. For everybody. For everyone. Yeah, and yeah. I think that's maybe where I'm kind of like iffy yeah. with it. But I do, that's I do a good think point. it's easier. You yeah. know, I didn't think about that because when I seen it, I just was like, easy. No, no, no. But the reality is like for some people, but some people do, some people exist in these relationships that are not easier. Like you would be better off alone. Yeah. Leave him. Um, but or some people like to be alone like that. Yeah. That is the saddest they like is to be single so they can do different things. Mm-hmm. And that's easier for them or not yeah, have kids yes, like those point. things may be easier. That's a good point. I didn't think about that. What you think? I think that um, I, I couldn't use the word easier. Uh, I think that Chris does make certain things for me easier. Like it's certain things that I don't have to think about mm-hmm. or he looks out for me in a lot mm-hmm. of ways. But I think that these roles come with a lot of responsibility. Yes. And yeah. so because of that, I think that um, easier, I guess it is easier, right? So if we're looking right. at it from a financial standpoint, it's definitely easier. If you're looking at it from, um, when you're looking at it from just like a somebody, you, you got a, a in-house best friend, somebody mm-hmm. that you can lean on and talk to about things and stuff, somebody mm-hmm. that's going to hold you accountable. Absolutely. And be like, Tina, you tripping on Tina, exactly. uh, you've been gossiping too much. Yeah. <laughs> what are we gossiping? <laughs> <laughs> All I said was. <laughs> I said, please don't tell me that again. No. <laughs> what I'm saying? Okay. Well, I won't say nothing else all night. What I'm saying? Because, uh... This is the only time I get to talk to adults. No. <laughs> That's funny. I got to tell them what's been going on. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. No, nah, but yeah. So I, I would say somewhat easier, but... Um, I think you kind of go in the same direction I originally yeah. was. And I feel like what got me to say, like, it overall is easier. Just because, like, all... So for me, like, growing in all these things, like, as an mm-hmm. adult and just the childhood trauma that we may have, like... If I, I just can't imagine having to process like all of that alone. Like I have mm-hmm. emotional support at home. Mm-hmm. I mean, again, it's because it's a safe person. It's the person I'm supposed to be with. But I have emotional support at home. I have mm-hmm. financial support at home. So we, I just have all these different things that I know. Like if I went through all the things that I went through as an adult and did not have uh, my mm-hmm. my partner, Jeremy, then my, I think my life would be harder. Like, I think I would be like, fuck, man. It's, so, it's always yeah. something. It's always something. <laughs> it's always, which I still feel that, but he can he takes a lot of loads off. Confidant. like confidant. Yeah, yeah. And I also think that, what's the call it? Puts reality for me. Because sometimes I'd be tripping over what? shit that's not shit. Like, and he'd be like. Tr- Chris? Yeah. Oh, yeah. But but also the way he phrases sometimes makes, like, it, it actually backfires. Like, mm. don't phrase that in a way that it's not nothing, Okay. <laughs> Just, just talk to me and calm me down. But don't, yeah. don't sit up there and tell me you tripping over nothing. <laughs> now I'm trip over something. Yeah. <laughs> oh, now I have something to trip over. Actually, um, yeah, no, that that's interesting. Um, I would, I would like to know what y'all think. Like the the listeners of this episode, like leave us a comment. Let us know if you have a partner. Do you feel like they make your life easier? That life is easier. Um, and tell us why, why, why not? Like I think it's subjective, mm-hmm. and I, I don't know why I never thought about that. But I just was like, oh, it's probably easier for everybody. Mm-hmm. But I, I guess I forget that people have are in relationships that, that may not be. Mm-hmm. So anyway, let us know in the comments what y'all think. Okay, so I now now we can get to kind of the juicy part. Okay. So y'all, um, I saw a video, and this is what again inspired this uh this episode because I saw a video on Facebook, I believe, 
and it triggered me. And I was like, I just got to know other people's opinions. <laughs> and I can call people all day long, but that's time consuming. I was like, this is yeah. probably good content. So let's go ahead and just record an episode about it. But anyway, y'all, so I saw a video. Um, it was BT The Man Cave. And it was it featured Steve Harvey on there and some other men that I didn't wet recognize. They may have or may not have been famous. Tank? Yeah, I was say Tank. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, that was Tank. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. See, see. Yeah. That was a sorry Tank. Uh, didn't know that was you. Didn't know that was you. Some of you guys did look a little familiar, but I'm like, I don't know. I don't know. I, I know Steve. <laughs> okay, Steve is the man I seeked and knew. Um, but anyway, it was like a nine minute video. And in the video, they were talking about gender roles. Mm -hmm. And, like, I've had conversations about gender roles. It's always, like, to each his own, to each his own. But they have very specific uh, perspectives. Mm -hmm. That was like, okay, let's actually dive into how mm -hmm. we feel about gender roles. And, again, we are saying all of this in this episode knowing that it's subjective. And I, I'll speak for myself and I'll allow y'all to say, I think people should do whatever they want. So, like, what I say in this video is what I feel, but I also am pro-do what the hell you want. And Amen. so whatever works for your relationship <laughs> works for your relationship. Amen. Do y'all agree? I agree with that. We all agree. agree so that. now that we got that out the way, we are going to share our perspectives. Um, and we do invite y'all to, you know, comment below and let us know what y'all think. Um, it may not change our perspectives, but it may enlighten us. It may not. It may just be, you know, a topic to discuss. But these are our perspectives. Um, so so let's let's dive into gender roles, y'all. Okay. We already said, like I said, we they're subjective. But one thing they talked about was the percentages you should give in a marriage. And that triggered me because the so when growing up, and I feel like when I first learned about relationships, mm -hmm. uh, the the thought was relationships are 50-50. Mm -hmm. Now, once I got married, um, and I started listening to married, you know, people talk, and they're like, no, marriages aren't 50-50. Um, they, it changes, right? You give mm -hmm. what you have at the time and your partner picks up what you what you can and vice versa. Like every everybody can give what they got. Mm -hmm. So that may look like everybody giving a hundred. That may look like, you know, a partner giving 20 because that's all they got due to life stresses. And the other prop, uh, partner may be giving 180 or, you know, whatever. But it's all about balancing and giving your best at that time. Mm -hmm. It's never about like, oh, I'm only going to give you 50. Like, no, I'm going to give you what I have at this moment. Definitely. Have y'all have y'all heard that as well? I haven't heard that, but I like it. Good. Glad I could share some with you. <laughs> yes, I do like that. Yeah. And I so, don't think I've heard it broken down in percentage wise, except for when Steve said it. And so yeah, so so, so now so that's so that's what I um have that's been kind of my motto. Like just give my best in my relationship at all mm -hmm. times. My best may be twenty percent. Mm -hmm. My best may be hundred and fifty, you know, mm -hmm. but it just you just give your all to your relationship. Um or give what you can. Well, Steve, um, Uncle Steve said, <laughs> marriages are 85-15. Is that right? Yeah, 85-15. Um, and he said 85 for the women, right? Mm -hmm. Women get 85 mm -hmm. and men get 15. Mm -hmm. How y'all feel about that? Because that just, I, 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 I've been trying to make sense of it. And if y'all know what he mean in the comments, let me know. But like, what do y'all think he meant by the woman getting 85 and the man getting 15. Was he talking about finances? No, he was just talking about, I think, the, the entire relationship. Because in the video, he also mentioned, um, what did he say? He was like, uh, you know, the woman, um, he mentioned like she knows where the kid go to school. Mm -hmm. She knows mm -hmm. soccer practice. All, mm -hmm. But I just was trying to, I, yeah. I couldn't make sense of what he was, where he was going with it. Mm -hmm. Uh, my take on that, what he said, I think it was uh, well intended. Like, I think he was like, I think he high, holds women in high regard. So I want to okay. state that first. I think he holds them in high regard. Mm -hmm. But I think that um, the, his ideology behind it, or from what I took from it, was that that because women do so much, they should get so much. Mm, and I think okay. that the conversation needs to be, why do women have to do so much? So I, I think that that's the issue, what I have with what oh. he said, because he's talking about women keeping up with, like, we men, men, 
Y'all, yeah, this is what y'all do. <laughs> Tell me y'all. Okay, let me put some because y'all gonna be like, not all day. But nah, this I'm is sorry you messing with a rag. <laughs> like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't go there. Some of y'all will sit up there and have the notion in your mind that women are better at stuff. You guys are better at knowing how to make dinner. You guys are better <laughs> at knowing how to You're what, just good what, at what, it, what, babe. shopping. You guys are better at that stuff. Yeah, like, like, I can see it. <laughs> I literally can send Chris, like, I sent him to go get some cookies, some vegan cookies. We get these vegan cookies. This is our third, fourth time getting them. I mm-hmm. sent him to the store to get them. Yeah, he he brought home some vegan cookies. Now, it's going to be people in the comments, you're so ungrateful. But I just kind of like, this ain't the same package. <laughs> so, the, so the package we get, it's like, you should miss this. Just tell them what brand. And you know what, though? Because I sent him the picture of the, uh, one of the items, and I'm just like, he know what the cookies we get. So, like, I, I already know that I have to kind of spoon feed him some of the stuff. But I was like, uh, you ain't never seen me buy this stuff. <laughs> it was like a loaf of cookie dough. And I'm like, so I got to cut it and, you know, do all that. When the ones so we get. you had to bake them? We, I haven't. They still in the, still in the refrigerator. <laughs> <laughs> but the ones we get is the ones that's already circled. You just pop them in there and stuff okay. like that. And I'm just oh, like, you got a portion of that's my pack. point, though. That's my <laughs> point. Is that it's always like they're there. Uh, some men they can be there, but not be there. They can miss things like when it comes to your kids. They can miss cues from your kids because they're mm. not, they're there, but they're not there. Like their minds elsewhere. And I think that because it's been normalized, it's just like. Well, women are better at it. Y'all are good with this mother and things. Y'all, y'all pay more attention. Like, I think we both got brains, <laughs> and, and I think that your your brain can pay attention. Like, because mm. if you can pay attention to basketball, football, and know all the details of all the players and the stats mm. and all that, your brain works. Yeah, so, I yeah, mean, that's yeah. kind of how I feel about it. Is that I love his intent because I do think that if you are in a situation where your woman is doing all of this. You need to not worship the ground she walks on, but you need to be appreciative mm. and always letting her know that, you know, but I think that you should do your part and take some of that load off her back. That's mm. how I feel about it. Tree, what were your thoughts? Hmm. I got some. So if you want to. You can go <laughs> ahead. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so, ready. so my thoughts on that, I don't disagree with anything you're saying. It's, and that probably was 100% his intent. But what I don't like is the disregard for what the man needs, right? Okay. So when he said, like, the woman gets 85, 85 and the man gets the 15, I don't want to give my husband 15. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, I I think that's the narrative of a happy wife, happy life. Mm-hmm. When I personally believe happy spouse, happy house. Because if I'm, if I'm only giving my husband 15, he's not going to feel fulfilled. Like, I may be on that's this... What- when you said, when I heard that, I was thinking, that's why men cheat. Like, if you feel mm. like, to me, if it, it's it, good, it, it reads like a, <laughs> I got to do all this stuff for her. So I'm going to get my portion wherever I got to get my, yeah, my, my yeah. other piece that I'm not getting from my yeah, household. I'm going to get elsewhere. She's supposed to give it to me. Like, no, no. I and, and I So I agree with you as well. Like, it should just be more balanced in the sense of give what you give. Learn the strengths in your relationship and give that your all. Mm-hmm. Um, If you know, if y'all agree, I shouldn't even say if you know, if y'all agree that, okay, I'm going to take on these responsibilities or I'm going to, this is going to be my role, that's fine. But, you know, fulfill those roles to the best of your ability. But when it comes to like saying, okay, I'm going to give, you know, she does all this, like you said, she's assuming this uh, or she has to do all of these things. So I'm going to give her 85 and then say I'm only gonna. She only gives me 15. Like on but top I, of that, that's disregarding the 85 that, she, that you already said she's doing. But so but I, I think that's I think that's that doesn't take a, a. It's not a true representation of women. Women are never just giving 15. percent That's what and that's what I'm yeah, saying. So they, like never it, it's, it's so saying that is like a. And, and we'll get there. But I just feel like throughout the video that was a common theme, and we'll link the video. We may have clips. I'm not sure how we're going to edit this uh, moment behind the scenes, but um, if 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 anything, the video will be in the comments so y'all can find, or not the comments, the description box um, below. But um, I felt like that was a common theme, y'all, so of the I'm, video. I guess I'm trying to get the, the context of how he said it. So is he saying, like, well, how y'all are taking it? Are you saying, like, that women only give 15% as far as, or give 15% as far as, like, support? And things like so that. So the way I took it was, I give 
to this relationship 85. 85% mm-hmm. of me. I give 85% of me to this relationship. And my wife only gives 15. But like I said, then it disregards all the stuff you're saying she's already doing. So that's what I'm saying. It just wasn't making sense to me. Yeah. And I definitely feel like women give a lot more than mm-hmm. 15% How'd you of take it, Sheree? themselves. I just feel like it's a sticky phrase, but I, I do feel like women give a lot more than mm-hmm. 15% of themselves to the man. Mm-hmm. But I also feel like us as women have to be, I guess, appreciative of what role your man is Ooh. is playing. Because okay. that may be a lot for him as far as if he is taking care of the household mm-hmm. or paying all the bills or something like that. Like That may be like a huge weight on them. Ooh. And also maybe just being a little forgiving if our partner wasn't really raised on how, on what a woman needs and how you treat that woman. Mm. Because I feel like some men just may not know what you need. Mm. But I mean, they have to be open to hear what you need and willing to kind of change those things. But I don't know. I just feel like it's based on each relationship, but I, I wouldn't, I don't know. I don't really like the, that. Yeah. That I think it's interesting. And I think I ultimately wish I could just sit with Steve just to understand what he was trying to say. Because I don't think it's like wrong. Like it did trigger me. Like, what are you talking about, Steve? But it's like, it's not that I feel like it's just like, oh, this is so terrible. Mm-hmm. But it's like, one, I just want more understanding on what you're trying to articulate. Yeah, the context of it. Yeah. And then two, like, how does that work? For you. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, what does that look like in your relationship? Because if that's what you want in your relationship, Steve, Mm -hmm. and if that's what you have, like, that's perfectly fine. But I just want to know, like, what does that really look like? Because, like, we kind of mentioned, like, if the woman gave 15%, if you're saying she only supposed to give the 15%, it sounds like you're discrediting all the stuff that she does. It's like, she does way more than 50%, but you calling that 15%. But see, that's why I think he was talking about financials. Okay. That's why I think he's saying that That's I'm the going I, to I thought okay. give eighty five percent and make sure like bills and this and this and then fifteen percent like Sometimes she might have to okay. pay for her own nails. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes that's what she, I thought know, it was. Financial. Her fifteen percent might just be, you know, the occasional having to spend money. But mm-hmm. you know, and how do y'all feel about that? Let's talk about financial side of things. <laughs> well, I was <laughs> take care of me. <laughs> she said hundred zero, hundred <laughs> zero. <laughs> my money, mine. <laughs> It's kind of like the 85, 15 with yeah. watching my parents. Like, my dad mm-hmm. took care of, like, mainly, like, the big stuff, the house, cars, mm-hmm. things like that. And my mom would take care of, like, cable or mm-hmm. getting all of our, maybe, like, toiletries and clothes. Yeah. All the stuff that he thought didn't really matter because my yeah. daddy is cheap, you know. He <laughs> so he wasn't buying all that. It might be occasional, but he, yeah. he wasn't buying all that. It was more of my mom who spoiled us and things like that. Mm-hmm. But now that I look at it in my relationship, I'm like, oh, that adds up. Like, Blake adds up. The toiletries yeah, add up. Yeah. You know, if I'm paying for little bills here and there. Yeah. Like, it starts. It starts <laughs> it to starts be a lot. Be a, yeah, I know it may not no be more. what he's taking care of, but yeah. I feel like it starts to, to not be 15. It's mm. more like maybe 30, mm-hmm. 70 at that point as far as I would say financially. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. But I also have businesses and different things like that. But I don't know. I like I like to I like for my man to take care of the bulk. The bulk. Mm, okay. But I wouldn't mind helping if he needed me to help. Like Got if he was you. in a bond or something like that. Like okay, babe, because we are supposed to be in this together. That's what right, right. marriage or partnership is. Is like if you're lacking or mm-hmm. you can't mm-hmm. afford those things, and I should be there. To help. Yeah. So do y'all, when it comes to like savings goals or just anything like that, do y'all have like joint accounts and stuff? Or do y'all like, and we don't got it. We can cut this if it's too personal. But like, do y'all, I guess, how about this? So for Jeremy and I, we just have a big pot. Mm -hmm. And it's all the money go in the pot. Mm -hmm. All the money goes in the pot. And the money is dispersed out. Um, now, we have different goals, like, for savings and things like that. So, we do things a, a bit uh, drastic right now. But it's because we're trying to knock out debt um, and save, um, ultimately, right now. So, like, when it comes to, like, savings goals, though, do y'all kind of keep it separate? Or do y'all? I would say as far as savings, like, with our checks, I feel like he saves a portion for him and I save a portion Mm-hmm. For me, but then it's like a family saving. Got you, got you, got you. As well. 
Mm-hmm. But I have to work on that because I like, you know, my money is my money. But I gotta, <laughs> can't be doing that in marriage. Right. So I have to. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she said, my money. Mm. I got to work <laughs> on that. Your right. money is ours. My yeah. money is mine. I, I, like, I work hard for this. I work hard for this money. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. So for me, we pull ours all together. And because we our work is so intertwined with each other, mm-hmm. um, like I do a lot of the stuff that ends up bringing forth money, like... As far as like the creative, like this mm-hmm. shirt, I designed the shirt. Yeah, you know, and so, so, so like I yeah, sat up there and des- designed the shirt. Any profit? And is, yeah, yeah, it's is you know. So we're a team in that regards, and he technically don't tell me no to nothing. Like when, but I am one of them cheap. Old depots. The depots, y'all. The cheapo, the depots. I like it. No, it stresses me out. No, and it stresses Chris out too because I'll be on the hour read. Just get it. Mm, this one. And it be over like 50 cents. And it does. And I, <laughs> but that add up. What is my daddy was <laughs> <laughs> I wish so I was That's cheap. me. No, I I a lot of that stuff, don't, you know, I don't get excited about Jordans. I don't get excited about um, a lot of stuff that other people mm-hmm. get excited about. It's just, you know. Um, but See, when it comes to money, too. yeah, I, we pull it together. And if I want to do something like yesterday, spending about forty dollars on drinks, and I'm just like, girl, I think it was more than forty. Girl, I looked at <laughs> See, me. That's I said, a lot for I me. said three eighteen dollar charges. What's going on? And I'm also <laughs> cheap <laughs> when you eat three? too. It said three, so I'm trying oh, to figure it out. I'm like, did I y'all ring it up? No, you went back. I don't you went twice. <laughs> I do. <laughs> well, see, I anyway, <laughs> anyway, no. but yeah, so I, I'll spend money on a girls' night. That's when I usually get to spend the uh, money. But I see. most time I'm not spending money like we. Uh-uh. Mm. I feel that. Okay. That's so me too. Another thing that was discussed in the video was um, how they felt about their woman making more than them. And this was another point where I felt like Steve kind of contradicted himself. But it was only a nine-minute video. So how mm-hmm. much can you really get from yeah. his perspective from nine minutes? Yeah. But, um, but in the video, he was talking about, um, you know— he wouldn't mind his wife making a little bit more for a period of time. Mm-hmm. But after a while, um, he wouldn't be able to live with himself if his wife is going, you know, off hunting, was what he kind of, I think what he said. So making the money while he stays home and babysits the kids. Mm-hmm. I know how you feel about so that, that babysit. So that's, so that's the, <laughs> the babysit. That's sort of a thing, so, right? So making more money than you and, and you not. Oh, yeah. you're right. You're right. You're right. So that led to a conversa- conversation of stay-at-home dads. Okay. So let's start with the making more money. Mm-hmm. How do y'all feel about that? Me, personally, I don't care. In our relationship, there have been periods of times where Jeremy made way more than me. There have been periods where I made a little bit more than him. But, like, ours is more like we just kind of always leveling up around the same time. And so mm-hmm. it's like, even if I'm making a little bit more, it's, one, it may not be a lot. And then, two, it's like, you know— his level up is going to come too. So, I don't know. We don't even really think about it like that. But y'all that. know y'all are working. It's we steady elevating. We both yeah. elevating. So, it's never been a big deal about um how much. And I also feel like when it comes to finances, uh, or when it comes to financially, or, or when it comes to finances in our relationship, there we go. Uh, one, Jeremy's frugal. So hmm. Sounds like somebody. Even if... <laughs> <laughs> you uh, even if like and this is just my relationship but I'm like even if I made more than Jeremy Jeremy don't take a lot from the, the house you know what I'm saying mm-hmm, so mm-hmm. it's like he not gonna be I'm not gonna be making all this money he ain't gonna, he gonna be like ooh I'm gonna spend all this girl money like that's not <laughs> him um, now if he if it was like that I probably would have problems like okay I'm not gonna be making all this <laughs> but money but what about this what if you started making all that money he said no, okay. I guess that's the next conversation. I just want to stay home. <laughs> we'll get there. <laughs> we'll get there. But yeah, so like, I don't know, like making more, like a, a woman making more to me is not that big of a deal. I know we kind of talked about right. it on the single series. Um, y'all probably seen that in Tiana's opinion. But I want to I wanna know for, from y'all, like, are y'all opposed to making more money than y'all men? Do y'all feel like y'all would look at him differently if you made more money? Let's see, that's the thing, though. Like... I think that making more money, you start to understand that your contribution. And so mm-hmm. from a financial standpoint, you're at an advantage. Like you are the breadwinner. And so I think in my mind anyway, personally, I've been kind of indoctrinated that the breadwinner makes the rules, you know. Oh, okay. So, but me personally, I think that um 
I wouldn't mind making more money because I, I would see it as being <laughs> beneficial to the household. So mm-hmm. we're all winning mm-hmm. when that happens. And I think that his identity doesn't have to be tied to a number. To I think that's, money. that's yes. capitalism where we're yeah. tying. I don't think know. money makes the man. Right. I think, you know, the other duties and the other things he looks out for and okay. all those things. So I think personally, I wouldn't mind. Um, and I don't think that emasculates him that I make more because I think it's just a different day. It's, yeah. a, it's really just a different day where yeah. women and getting the degrees and stuff like. And I think that it would be unfortunate for a man to stifle his woman because of his view on... Yeah, I need to be making more than you. Yeah, so it's like, well, you just stay home. Or, well, I don't know if you should, you know? So I, I don't think that that's... I think that you're losing sight of the bigger picture, which mm-hmm. is y'all elevating. What are your thoughts, Shri? I, I don't think I would have a, a problem with that as long as my partner, I feel like, was okay with that and comfortable with that mm-hmm. and still supportive. I feel like sometimes people may not be supportive if you're in that... Mm. That yeah, alpha like, man yeah, role yeah. and you want to be the breadwinner. Mm-hmm. But I wouldn't mind that as long as we're both elevating and I guess trying to reach our goals. Mm-hmm. I think we'll be okay. And so. then I guess if you got a problem with it, then what we can do is just act <laughs> like I make 56000 and I'll just pocket the rest of the, <laughs> the money. <laughs> how about this? I'll, I'll give you 50 or we'll collect 56 but the, the rest is mine. <laughs> you know, I guess... Um, that's another thing, like, so what do you do in that sense? I wonder what people do, like, okay, my man has a problem that I'm been offered this opportunity that's much more money, or much more money. That don't sound right, but a lot more money. Mm-hmm. You don't take it? You know what I'm saying? Like, to me, I don't, I don't know. That's an interesting— I'm going to take it. But I, I, we would have to have a conversation. Like, yeah. you would have to get over the ego and just the ego. be but he, okay. He, but he, I would like, also have if to If this be, is you, gentlemen, I would say, say this to your wife. Baby, just contribute what you've been contributing and the rest of that money that you make, just pocket it. So then you still feel your role the the way you see fit. And yeah. then she can sit over there and be like, I think that's a good band aid. <laughs> but the reality is I'm like, like he Charisse still said, you know. gotta work on that ego. Well, yeah. no, and I, but I feel you. Say, or with well, me, we have to don't we tell him that you're making more money now. No, I'm not lying to you, man. Okay. All right. <laughs> Say, you don't know you got a promotion? No. Yeah. <laughs> don't tell him. Well, I, I tell feel like, him yeah. I would tell him. <laughs> but I feel like you got to work on, your, well, on yourself, too. Like, make sure you're not like, I make more money than you. Like, right. things like that. You know. Yeah, you like, you know. that's so when a, a problem can I occur. I to, I taught money being breadwinner, being the head of the household. Say, like, mm. I don't tie uh, being the breadwinner to being head of the household. And for the reason that you, I, I think you said, which was like, being a man is not tied to the money for me. Mm-hmm. So like, just because, you know, you make more money or I make more money uh, in any point in our relationship, like, I still look at you as a man because you are a man. Mm-hmm. You do the things that a man does. You protect me. You provide for me. Um, you Does he provide? What's provide? Emotional. Like, I, when I look at provide, I mean like emotional, uh, pr- provision, mm-hmm. uh, financial provision, spiritual provision. I mean, like, just provide in a whole sense versus, like, financially. Because yeah. okay. financially, I'll be making more money. But yeah. he's still providing, though, because our right. money and, is and our you money. Can, you can provide even without being the breadwinner. If you still want to exactly. give your 80%, you can still give your 80%. Absolutely. You know? So, yeah, so I just really don't think, like, the amount of money that Jeremy makes is tied to him being a man. Because, like I said, like, he does everything else, I or he does everything I think a man is supposed to do. So, like, provision, providing, mm-hmm. uh, financially, um, spiritually, mentally, uh, emotionally. Um, yeah, like, he he does all of those things. So, I don't, I don't know. I guess I don't look at, like, okay, he's making this amount of money. Because I know when I come home, he's still that, he's still the man. Like, mm-hmm. He's supportive, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Like, yeah. whenever I need something, he'll inconvenience himself, so I'm not inconvenienced. Mm-hmm. Like, no matter mm-hmm. how much money he making, this is him. Like, mm-hmm. he is he's, he is that. And so I think that's why, for me, it's easy to not look at it from a financial perspective, just because I'm like, especially in all our money in the pot anyway, so we, be, yeah. I don't, we don't even know what we're paying. <laughs> I'm forgetting how much we make anyway. But in, in any points that I made more, it was never like I make more 
or I felt like, oh, I make more and I'm giving more to this relationship because my mm-hmm. husband has always get, given his okay. best to the relationship. Yeah, and I, Honestly, nine times out of ten, his best is almost always better than my best. And it's because <laughs> <laughs> I need work. You're like, I need therapy. I just don't be, mo- be having it emotionally. And kudos to therapy. <laughs> I love me some therapy. Y'all know I talk about it all day long. Yes. Um, but yeah, so that was interesting. But like, like, like I said originally, that led into... Like, what'd you say? You make so much money, I'm just gonna stay home. <laughs> who, who, wanna, who, wanna address, <laughs> who wanna address that first? Who wanna tackle that pickle? I wouldn't, I'm not really feeling that. Like him just staying at home? I don't with know. The kids? Like, what about with the kids? Yeah, but even with the kids, I'm just. I, I don't know. I just don't know. Like I, I, we were discussing this earlier. I said, I don't know if I would be humble enough. <laughs> to be okay with that situation. That's ooh, that's good work. Without thinking Humble. that I'm doing all of this and you just sitting home. But I guess because I wouldn't just want to stay at home. Like, I like making money, bringing yeah. income, and helping contribute to the household. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So I guess maybe that's why I wouldn't be okay with him just yeah. staying at home. And I wouldn't, I wouldn't want those arguments and problems yeah. and things like I that. I think I... So, I feel bad. Because... Um, it's like, I don't think, you know, stay-at-home parents, I, I I think they have a big role. Like, I think people yes. who stay at home, like, I think that is a job, like, I do. Uh, but for me, like, when I envision, like, oh, well, I'm just going to stay home, like, Jeremy deciding to stay home. First of all, our son is two. So he going to be at school most of the day. And if, <laughs> if, you know what I'm saying, soon, like, pre-K, three, all that stuff. Yeah. Like, Cause you're not a teacher, you know what I'm saying? So like <clears throat> I would want I wouldn't want you to like be his teacher because that's just not the role I think my husband would play. Uh or be the best teacher for our son at that mm-hmm. age. Um so my thoughts are like you would be at home, you have to do something. Mm-hmm. Like if Jeremy wanted to quit his job and start a business, a hundred percent supportive of that. If you wanted to like, you know, stay home um and do like Again, a business or a nonprofit, like mm-hmm. I would be supportive of that. Just but the idea something. of like him staying home and his sole responsibility is to just is to care for the you know clean and the and, household and you know do the household. Like I just I don't know why that doesn't sit well with me. But because but I honestly like you said I wouldn't I wouldn't do that. Like I would tr- try to have something, some little side hustle, something that. It's just something to keep me busy because I don't know. Maybe that's a um, societal pressure. I how I guess I just saw my dad in his role mm. in the environment. So I guess maybe that's a little mm-hmm. bit of it too. And again, I just I couldn't just stay yeah. at home. But I'm a busy guy. Like I like doing being busy. Something. And now when I when I say this aloud, like a part of me also thinks like, okay, like stay at home, like. I just want to know, like, what are you doing at home? You know, <laughs> not even like I, I want an account. Like, okay, tell me what you've done all day. But more so, like, if if Jeremy was like, I just want to be a stay at home dad. Like, I just would need to know what that consists of. Like, yeah, um, I get that. You know what I'm saying? Like, what is it? And consist I don't think I would be you? good at the stay at home role because I don't like cleaning and all of that. It's not my favorite thing to do. Yes, so I don't. I think would I would mind be it though. Good at Sometimes I'll be going to work. <laughs> but um, but yeah, I don't know. Like, I would think I think I would just need to know like what he envisions, um, because he cleans quick. And uh, like wash and loads, he be or done in an hour. Your son's lunch. <laughs> okay, you got all that done in three hours. So like, what we no? Because but but I can envision. Like I'm thinking what I what I picture. Like Jeremy staying home. He be on the farm. He's gonna be working. Yeah. He gonna be working the farm. Like, and I wouldn't be opposed to that. But like, when I think of like staying home, and I know this is not what happens, but when I picture like moms whose kids are at school. Or let me not even say moms because this is that. Look at you. Got to in the wanna, comments. I don't want to ruffle no feathers. <laughs> but like when I picture Jeremy, like staying at home, like and not having anything to do outside like of any just of cleaning. I just picture him like watching sports all day and just like big chilling, <laughs> have a few beers. Like, and I ain't saying that that's what it would consist of, but like I just would be like, what, what else are we doing? Like, what else are we doing? Um, Farming, gardening, like, are we? Are you growing the food? But are see, you... that's the thing, too. Maybe, and I guess this is something outside of the roles, but 
maybe we're so indoctrinated that we always feel like we have to be trying to obtain something. Why yeah. can't we live a life where we're just at Chilling. peace? Yeah. You know? But I, I, because, can, will we be able to afford it? That's what I'm saying. The, the capitalism, the okay. indoctrination even, that we are in a society where you, you have, have no choice but to work in order to enjoy your life. Well, and that's and, and that's why I don't I don't necessarily think that. And the reason why I say that is because regardless of the capitalistic society, society, we still gotta eat. Mm-hmm. And growing vegetables, you gotta water them, you gotta plant the seeds, you gotta do all that stuff. Um, finding the meat, like the chickens, you got you know what I'm saying? So like Or giving it up. What you mean? Giving up eat and going vegan. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's the option too. But regardless, my thing is that still work, right? Yeah. Like if you need to grow enough food for us to eat, yeah. work just looks different, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Now work looks like Yeah, no, going. and I definitely understand that that even when we were before capitalism, we were still working and still had to go get food and all But would y'all stuff. be okay with like a non traditional I guess work day for your spouse. Uh well, oh, I think I, I think I could do a non traditional work day for Jeremy. Like, I if he if we didn't have to if I went to work and I came home and Jeremy's like, okay, uh, we got this many loaves of bread. <laughs> <laughs> so you need to be the front of what? I pick the greens. The bell pepper wasn't ready, but we'll get them tomorrow. Like that, that's work to Why me. Why is what that? What she gonna do? She gonna go outside. Like, what were you doing? She gonna go outside and start looking. At- and me, I'm the one that water today. <laughs> He's looking a little nothing. dry. <laughs> okay, but that's me on the opposite side. But like, if I'm going to work, I don't, I don't know. Like, I just—it's almost like I just want to feel you worked. I want to feel you worked. Is that because you're working? Right. Is that what? Possibly. <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> no, I don't know. Because that probably boils down to you can't be out there. No, 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 no. I think. It, it is because I work, but I think it's more so because I do think a man's job is to provide. And yeah. providing, mm-hmm. like, is all of those things I mentioned before. So, like, even if it's not financially per se, you're providing the food and all that stuff. That's technically financially because we don't have to spend that. You know what I'm saying? That's providing the food and all those that stuff for the table, which is pretty much the purpose. Mm-hmm. Not the purpose of money, but, you know, a big thing. Mm-hmm. That's what money really buys Um, that is... um beneficial to us as humans like we need food cows and um, shelter you know yeah those those physiological needs um and so yeah that that i don't i don't think it comes from like oh i'm working so you need to work it's more so like i do believe that that is the role of a man um is to provide in all those areas that i said so if he's not doing that that's when i would be looking at you funny like but is cleaning not providing well, it depends on who you ask. But for me, all my little mess. No, I'm just, <laughs> no, I'm just like, um, cleaning is providing. Uh, but I'm fucking with you because I, I mean, <laughs> no, I don't know. I don't know. I don't. Know. I, don't. I mean, it's, cleaning it's is providing good. a clean space. Yes, I'm a hungry. clean space is needed. Yeah, but food is too. <laughs> I, I'd rather have food than a clean space. Which your money is going to buy the food. This is getting real. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. What y'all think? Tell us what y'all think. I'm over here getting hot. <laughs> am I toxic? Just say that. Just say that. I probably am. I just but, think right. it's all perception. I think we all got a little bit in us. Work for you. And, and we said that at the beginning. This yeah. is all our opinions. This is my opinion. Um, I know it, Jeremy and I have talked about gender roles, and we both feel like you got to do something. And that's that's our, in our relationship as well. But I don't think my partner would be okay with Staying not contribute, not contributing yeah. or providing. Like, yeah, he wouldn't be okay internally. I agree one hundred percent. with I think Jeremy would feel the same way. I so. think that's what Steve was saying too. What that he wouldn't be okay with not providing. Well, I think the issue with what Steve said for me mm-hmm. was the like. To me, it sounded like he was discrediting everything the woman was doing because the woman, well, I don't know. Maybe I ain't too far from Steve. <laughs> oh, I'm Steve. <laughs> Actually, pulled off the rack. <laughs> no, but for real, because you know, I don't know. Like, I think that's a good that, that's a good realization because I'm like, to me, it was discrediting everything a woman does. Um, but see, I felt like he was trying to celebrate women, but I felt like in the midst of celebrating women. That ideology keeps women tired and just mm. overwhelmed, and I think it's an issue with that. Yeah. No, I don't know though. I think you. I think that's a valid point. Like maybe I ain't too far off from Steve. I guess when I heard it, like I guess my picture of staying home for a man 
is him still doing things to provide. Like, mm-hmm. And I, I imagine my husband who has, we have chickens, we have, mm-hmm. you know, garden and stuff like that. So I, when I see him stay home, I know he's not just going to be on, on, yeah, on the couch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, like, that's that's the absurd vision I have, but I know he going to be building stuff. He going to be just finding stuff to do. So I'm like, I'm good with that. Like, Steve, why are you acting like just babysit my wife? But I, I think Steve was literally just saying, like, the cleaning and all. So maybe, maybe I ain't too far from Steve. Yeah, and he probably was talking about that. He probably won't. He probably wants to be serviced that way. And so... If he's he, providing. Yeah. yeah. And I think that he's probably grown accustomed to being serviced. So he doesn't mm. want to level his position to where he's going to be servicing, you know? So, when y'all... Now my thought is random, but... Steve got all that money. You got you got <laughs> housekeepers. So what... what if, if it was really true, like, what he's saying, and he's like, the woman's supposed to do all this stuff... She's just in charge of making sure the cleaners get there. Like, is that all he's wanting? She probably still got a lot to do. She probably looks after, you know, any type of family Kids events. Wrong. Right, any type of family events they have. Like, she probably co- coordinates that. She mm-hmm. probably coordinates. Um, I think his wife works, but I'm just saying, like, yeah, when yeah, he but she probably it, coordinates, you know, it. she'll probably coordinate vacations. Um, and then, you know, yeah, she probably. Video chats her grandkids. <laughs> no, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. That, it's interesting. I, I, she always working out. She be making sure she right. Oh, do she? Yeah. <laughs> she keep right, keep the tire. Yeah, I, it's like I'll be wanting to be a fly on the wall in rich people relationships. Cause it's like it's so different from what the fuck I'm talking about. Maybe yeah. like, I, would, I would see things differently too. But right now, but I feel like with that comes a lot of responsibility. Oh, for sure. So she probably has a lot of responsibility that we don't know about. Absolutely, and just right. like you said, like the. And I, I ain't saying he puts the pressure on her, but I'm I'm just assuming, like, when you in the light like that, the pressure to keep your body up. You Steve mm-hmm. Harvey's wife. He wants a certain thing. Your man is this. So, you know, like, yeah. she probably does do a lot to fit that. And to lifestyle. make sure her own insecurities are in check. Like, yeah. as long, if I'm looking like this, I feel better, feel more secure, maybe. Yeah. Oh, because he's famous. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Ooh, see? Yeah. And that probably is. That's a work in and of itself. Have y'all ever tried to stay on a diet? Oh my but, God. I heard you were good. <laughs> Hallie told me that you were good at sneaking on the diet. Who? Hallie. Hallie. Train. Don't know me. <laughs> she don't know at all. She don't know me. At, <laughs> no, but that? back in the day when I was young, I'm not a kid anymore. <laughs> <laughs> no, but back in the day, like when I was going to Hallie, for sure. Uh-huh. But like recently, after <laughs> baby, I want Girl. all the things. Because I want all the things. Girl, I keep all the gaining, sweetness. losing. Girl. Gaining, gaining, gaining. Losing. That's exactly how it goes. Exactly how it goes. Gain, gain, gain. Like, what? Like, bam. Okay, so. Um, moving, we're going to move on to, to the next uh, topic that was in there, in the video, which was uh, women proposing to men. We could be brief on this. <laughs> hell no <nah> for me. <laughs> it's a hell so no. Nah. The quickest, the quickest. We can move Get on. your ass up and walk that ground. <laughs> Girl, if you want uh, No, different stuff for different folks. Right. Do your thing. It is. Do your, do I mean, do I, don't, thing. I don't like it, but, but as long thing. as she's not going to regret her decision of doing that, I feel like, do what she do. And if she's not trying to force too. him... I think married. there is some women out there I that I can't. really have freed themselves from the thought of Ooh. how they look, I guess. Because I think it's a lot of women that don't mind asking men out on the first date and things like that. See, I think I wouldn't even mind that. I say that, but I'm married, so it's easy to say. <laughs> but like, I feel like that's, you know, like, oh, you should, we should go out. Like, just kind of being more bold with yeah. it. So well, I just think that on I think that's just an extension of that. Oh, I don't. I think <laughs> that's a big step. That's that. I think it's like, an extension of that. I think I, if you freed yourself from the I gotta wait on a man to make the first move. You like I'm ready to get married. We like each other. I mean, but what I'm, if he's not? Like, what if he's voiced that he's not and she still proposes? That's but but see, we never talk about women. We never say like, what if a woman's not ready? Like, well, she gonna say we, no. You will. Don't say yeah. <laughs> he should say no to. <laughs> Y'all, I don't. I'm going to be more than funny. Like, no, nah, but it ain't for me, though. <laughs> I said all that, like, but it ain't for me. I, I, I don't. About that one. I just can't see it. Like, I just, I, I I'm can't. I'm too prideful. Like, mm-hmm. so, you know, the pride. I want you to chase me or really you show know me what you what I'm wanna. saying? I need. <laughs> But it could be, like you said, just that indo- indoctrination. Is that how you would say it? Yes. Um, 
because I'm just like, that's not how it goes. <laughs> like, <that's what laughs> You're doing this wrong. <laughs> and, and I know that's not right. So I know that's not a good perception to have. But yeah, like, that's right. just what I keep seeing in my mind. Like, that don't feel right. Like, in me, my heart. You know, in my soul. <laughs> I don't feel, in my knees so bad. Like, it's what is this even rooted in? I'm sorry, I'm going to be that one to do that. But what is getting down on your knee and proposing rooted in? Like, okay, where did, that, where where did, did it come start? from? Because I where mean, why, why are you not setting up? Yeah. <laughs> why are you not setting up to look say, hey, to show your respect? Like, or... Yeah. And and shoot, since we own it, and I know how you feel because you was on episode two of the podcast, but like, um, the idea of marriage, right? Like, it's, a, it's interesting. So I, I like being married. I love being... I love what we have. I love the vows, all of that stuff. Um, but like people look down upon people who didn't go get the, the, the paper from the courthouse and like, oh, y'all not really married unless you go. I think that stuff was going around like when, oh, yeah. with Jocelyn mm-hmm. and, and Mimi and stuff. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, they not married. But, um, and <laughs> granted, they probably wouldn't marry <laughs> even like, you know, with the vows, whatever. Um, but like to me, like the government don't ch- choose if I'm married. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. I, I feel like I don't look at marriages any different if they... If they made vows to one another and they said, this is who I'm choosing to be with, this is who I'm choosing to spend my life with, this is my life partner, this is this is my wife, mm-hmm. respect it 100%. But it's interesting because people, like, look at that differently. Like, mm-hmm. oh, but they're not really married. Mm-hmm. Like, just because you got... a lot of that is religious beliefs. But, like, even if it's religious, like, in the Bible, I don't think it said, you know, go to uh, the county clerk. <laughs> it don't. <laughs> but know? I'm saying religion, like, religion, as far mm-hmm. as Christianity, I feel like... That was kind of the standard for to go. you being married and it being validated in in that mm. religion. It's like this is well, see, that's the thing do. too. The pastor gives a, a license, or maybe he just signs a license. But uh, I think you can have a contract without going to the county office. Like you can have yeah. one that's never filed, you know. And so, if that's something that you well, want to do, but is that considered being legally married? Not legally, because but you, it's, it's it's not legal until you go file it with the court. But gotcha. I'm saying, like, religiously, like, well, gotcha. your, your pastor gotcha. ordained this and gave you a license, you know? Gotcha. Like, birth certificates. Like, when a midwife can uh, sign it, and that's technically a lot, you know? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And so that's how it is. So, um, you know me. I ain't official as a whistle at all. Mm-hmm. You know? And I don't, I don't see that changing. I mean, <laughs> I might do it, but I just, like, for what? Like, And I feel it's like it's just been official. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like... So, like, for me, like, when I think about Jeremy and I getting married, I remember people like, oh, yeah, it's going to be good. The taxes, all that stuff. Yeah, do y'all know taxes suck? <laughs> that, <laughs> so that year for taxes. And so, like, um, even, like, it was a, a housing program we were going to do. And it was like, if we were separate, we could have got, like, maybe bought two houses, one rental property, one we stayed in. But as a married couple, it's only, you know, you only qualify you one. one. Yeah. So it's like, yeah. to me, like... When they say, like, doing, getting, you know, legally married is the right way, to me it's like, is you it? know, is it? You know what I'm saying? Like, it is if it's beneficial for you. Mm-hmm. Again, back to what we said from Jump, I'm pro do what the hell you want. Exactly. But it's like forcing a standard and looking down upon people who do things differently. Mm-hmm. It's like, no. And I know we all do it, right? We mm-hmm. all do it in we certain always, areas yeah, of life. That's it's true. Like, yeah. You know, we look down on people who do things differently. But, um... I just know in that area, I just, you know, I just respect it. Like, oh, y'all married. But I know it's a lot of things that, like, I mean, a lot of, so, not societies, um, places, systems that don't respect it. Like, for instance, benefits. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? You can't cover somebody on benefits unless y'all legally married or y'all got a marriage affidavit. And the only way. Or common law marriage. And with common, or sorry, not a, a marriage affidavit, but a common law affidavit. But the thing about the common law affidavit is if you get that and you go and you get it notarized, the only way you can take that person off your insurance is if you get a, a real divorce. A legal divorce? Oh, wow. A legal divorce, yeah. So, so you know what I'm saying? So it's like, you might as well just get married because you have to legally get a divorce from this person to, uh, yeah. Take you them off your insurance? Your like what? Benefits? You talking about like yeah, what? We, we ain't got to go into that. We could, we could talk about it later because I don't need people to be like, where, where is that at? You know? <laughs> <laughs> but, is that but, I, shit, <laughs> but I know... Uh, for in my experience uh, mm-hmm. with work, that is the process for it, right? I and got you. And so it's just interesting to me, like they still in your business. <laughs> still you know what it. I'm saying? And so I just feel like a lot of uh, it's not systems, a lot of places, or I don't know what to call them, but like just don't respect 
Like mm-hmm. people choosing to just get married. It's like, oh no, you gotta sign this license, which is typically because it's a fee associated with it. And it's like we gotta make some money. Mm-hmm. But we won't go into all of that. It's yeah, just it's too, it's too deep. deep. It's too deep. It's too deep. Um but okay. Um so we talked about women proposing to men. Y'all sit down not getting with that. I can't. Do you well, boo? I mean, if that's do what you, you want to do. Yeah, <laughs> personally though. Yeah, like, that's y'all what you want to do, but no, personally, boy, I wouldn't even want to do that. I'm not even asking you on a date. You better use your mouth and say. You wouldn't ask no dude on a date? Yeah, I feel no. like you shot your shot at Chris though. Girl, I wasn't interested in Chris. I told you that. Okay, but when y'all was at the grocery Ooh. store or the 7 Eleven? I just told him I like the shoes. That's it. Uh, <laughs> that was the shoes. <laughs> anyway, um, okay, so that really kind of concludes the episode. Before we got off here, I did want to talk. Um, since we all on here, we in relationships. Um, Another big topic that was going around on social media a few months ago was like red flags, green flags. Mm-hmm. Um, and I just thought it was interesting. So I kind of wanted to end on like a light note. Like, okay. we ain't got to talk about the red flags. We're like, yeah. what are some green flags that y'all think you should look for or that people should look for in relationships? I know we talked about like gender roles and we talked about, um, you know, the difference from, you know, where we were before this stage we're in now. But like, if someone is looking, yeah, what am I talking about? I think. <laughs> you talking about green flag? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, sorry. Yeah, let's, let's just go back to green flag. I'm glad to go that. What <laughs> green flag? I think is how they treat the people that they say they care about the mm. most. Green flag, right? So <laughs> yes, that's that's good because I'm like, how you, you know? But I think uh, I think a better probably for a woman. How do they treat their mom? Like, how do they view their mom? Do they mm. when they describe their mom? Because he's probably looking at you to do what his mom does. And so it, when he describes it, he, is he just talking about, she's a hard worker. <laughs> she's a hard worker. She, she, she don't, also, you don't want me to have a job. <laughs> she don't <laughs> to clean a mean house. <laughs> <laughs> you are an idiot. Yes. So how do they describe that? And then another green flag is, I guess everybody don't care about this, but it's the nigga funny. Yeah, are they funny? <laughs> are you yeah, gonna be the clown in a relationship? Yeah, I love the funny man. yeah, you want to be able to joke around, so right? Green or a green flag for me is a man who could take some accountability, Ooh, or yes. person, Ooh. a man or a woman. If they can be like, you know what, I did mess up, but mm-hmm. if they co- constantly trying to tell you, like, no, well, well, I did that because I did. Ooh, I hate yes. that. What's it? Ooh, I hate that. Because yeah, it don't matter why you gaslight. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like we can talk all day about why you did it, but this is how it made me feel. Can you take accountability for that? Mm-hmm. Can you apologize for that? A green light is therapy. Ooh, yes. Somebody's not afraid of therapy. Someone who's like, yeah, let's go. Because that's definitely a red flag of a dude. Like, man, therapy ain't for... Mm. I, I wouldn't say it's a red flag. It's red I for say, me. I say it's a... Wave it. No. <laughs> <laughs> I say he needs to progress, you know? That's true. Let me stop because, this red flag. you know, at one point, yeah. there's a lot of people I know would never think about their therapy, you know? Yeah. But now we're in a space where it's like, it's okay to yeah, go to therapy. Right, Black right. man, it's okay to go to therapy. Black, Black man, women. okay. It's okay to go to therapy. Black people, yes, it's okay. It's okay. Well, well, you might find out later, but like you know, credit scores. <laughs> <laughs> said, Don't come with that. That's not like his fault. His mama put a TV in his name. <laughs> well, let's cute. work to get that. Oh, let's <laughs> that drops off after seven years. Yeah. That should be off of there. <laughs> why do it take so long, y'all? Like seven I don't years. know. I guess they're like you ain't making the same mistakes, so we can take that off. <laughs> <laughs> okay, y'all. Well, that really concludes the episode. I really appreciate y'all entertaining my Thank nonsense. Thank you for having us. Uh, this was a fun conversation. Yeah, really fun. I enjoy talking about these hot topics. Mm-hmm. I always try to stay away from them, but I was like, you know what? I got time. Like, I got time. Yes. Let's actually dive into them. So, again, appreciate y'all so much for being Thank on. Thank you for having us. Yes. Appreciate y'all for listening. Again, let's wrap it up with some housekeeping. Make sure you are. What? what? Make, sure, <laughs> make sure you are liking, following, and subscribing to us on all social media platforms. That's at O to Black Love on Instagram and TikTok, and then O to Black Love Podcast on Facebook and YouTube. 
Also, head over to OdeToBlackLove.com to get your merch. Hopefully, we have some new shirts soon. Um, yeah, also, we may have a, a day party. I don't know when this will be um, aired. aired. Mm-hmm. But uh, we may have a day party. So, yeah, look forward to that. Look forward to the new merch. And um, if y'all want to listen to some good music, my husband makes it. So. Oh, yeah. yeah. Do you have any business or anything you want to plug? You know me. I'm, I, I don't take clients well. Okay, you don't. <laughs> so, what, where can they find your husband's music? Uh, his oh shit! What is his handles? Um, Krista got him see. It is, but I think it might be some or- underscores in there. Uh, she'll she'll put it in the description box. Yes, because um, he does the uh the intro. Is it still the same? He he does the intro. He right? does. I think uh, the beat something like that. It's he, something. It, we use Krista music all the time. <laughs> so it's, um, but yeah, we'll have his um we'll have his social media handles listed somewhere. Up here, down here, <laughs> over here. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but yes, good music. He's a local rapper in Oklahoma City, but he's really great. There ain't no but because Oklahoma City produced great rappers. So, Jeremy, you're going to have to cut that. Um, anyway, thank y'all so much for tuning in. Bye. 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 Bye.